Hey, what's up guys, and this is it. Literally everything regarding the Galaxy S21 series is out. Official press look of the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra in full glory. Along with that, we have some bombshell news regarding the inbox charger as well as headphones. But first, it's official time, Samsung Exynos is back. A whole new Exynos is coming on January 12th, 2021. So the announcement is two days before the official announcement of the Galaxy S21 lineup. So Samsung is really making us wait to see what the Exynos 2100 is packing. Now as expected, Ice Universe is really excited about this because Exynos 2100 is bringing some serious gains to the table. So so much so that Samsung finally decided to bring back Exynos chip to the home country South Korea which is something that they did not do last year. I absolutely cannot wait to see the official announcement of this chip. Okay so this is the official first look of the Galaxy S21 Ultra all press renders in both colors. We have the Phantom Silver as well as the Phantom Black model. They both look pretty stunning. As for the phone's design it is truly a ultra phone indeed. We've got five sensors on the back with LED flash. If we look at the leak camera spec, pretty much everything is new with the S21 Ultra camera from its main 108 megapixel HM3 sensor all the way to its new dual zoom setup, 10x optical zoom along with a 3x separate telephoto lens. Surprisingly, a brand new ultra wide angle lens. Apparently, Samsung is using a brand new sensor. This has an even bigger wider field of view coming at 123 degrees along with autofocus ability. So now it can finally be used as a macro lens. Now this ultra wide angle lens will also be present on S21 as well as S21+. Plus. As for the front, we have the minimal punch hole design and uh, edge display of course this is going to be the most bezel -less Samsung smartphone in history the thinnest chin on any smartphone out there now camera bump does look big when you look at the back of the phone but from a side perspective the bump is not that outward compared to the s21 ultra's bump so it's more inside the phone now as for the Samsung Galaxy s21 plus and the s21 they have pretty much the same kind of design like in these renders it's kind of hard to tell the difference but Galaxy s21 is rocking a flat display whereas the S21 Plus is rocking a edge display. You also get a glass back on the S21 Plus whereas the S21 is rocking plastic. Now we get the most color option with the S21 and I have to say it looks absolutely stunning especially in this new violet color. With the S21 Plus we have three colors it's only losing that special phantom pink color. The cameras on Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus will be very similar to the last year's model with the only big edition coming to the ultra wide angle lens. Now thanks to the Snapdragon 888 slash Exynos 2100 chip, we'll finally see 8K at 30 frames per second on all Galaxy S21 models. Again, we have a complete spec sheet of the Galaxy S21 Ultra pretty much confirming all the leaks and rumors. The front camera is indeed 40 megapixel uh, compared to the 10 megapixel of the Note 20 Ultra. For some reason, Samsung is back on to the high megapixel count. The display is actually 6.8 inches instead of 6.9 inches dynamic amoled ltpo 120 hertz at quad hd for the first time so you'll get the maximum resolution along with the maximum refresh rate and it's also gorilla glass 7 display with 1600 nits of crazy brightness it is absolutely mad now let me tell you what's actually super mad samsung is about to piss off a lot of customers in europe according to roland samsung will completely copy apple and stop shipping charger and headphones separately inside the box. We've heard this in the rumors numerous times but a lot of people said oh it's Samsung they're not gonna do it but apparently they are actually doing. With the exclusion of charger and AKG headphones you only get a USB-C data cable inside the box. There we go guys a big win for environment but a big and massive L for consumers. Now I'm pretty sure that Samsung will also pull off an environmental angle to cover this move but they're surely gonna get a lot of hate for copying Apple so quickly. Now Galaxy S21 Ultra is set to support 45 watt charging so very likely Samsung will be offering this special charger separately. Now last but not the least we have some good news regarding the pricing of the whole Galaxy S21 models. Compared to last year's Galaxy S20 series the prices are at least $100 less with each individual model so S21 Ultra instead of $1400 it's only $1300. Now Samsung is set to bring 256 GB of base storage on all models 
models, which is an incredible value. If that indeed is true, I think it does justice to the price. It is rumored that during the pre-order stage, Samsung might offer a free S Pen bundle with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So that's all the news guys, everything is here, all the S21 family in full glory. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and if you're watching this video from Europe, uh, then do comment. I'm not sure about other markets, but as of now, according to Roland, he's a pretty trusted source. Uh, Samsung is indeed doing this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.